Hey guys, Lee here for iMind Blocks. So just wanted to share a quick video update uh, with you guys, um, basically using a new miner for mining Grin. So I've shared quite a lot of videos on mining Grin already, but this is a new miner that's just been released and it's called B Miner. So it's version 12.1 and I'm getting really good results with it. So that's why I'm sharing this video with you guys. So you'll see uh, on screen, it's just actually slowed down um, just a little bit because I'm obviously recording on the same uh, machine. So it's um, using a little bit of the performance, taking it away. But I was getting, uh, if I just scroll back just a little bit, um, just over six graphs per second with a GTX 1080 Ti. So that is slightly overclocked. I'll talk more about the settings and everything in just a moment. Uh, for the time being, let me just close this miner and um, I'll show you how to get set up and started with it. So it's B minor and it's just done a new update. Now the uh, the creator of B minor reported that it will get a 10% um, increase in hash rate, but um, I'm getting a much, uh, much larger increase. Uh, using the Grin Gold Miner, it was around about 4.7 grass per second, and now I'm up to just over six. So, uh, you know, that's like 25%. So really good performance increase. So I thought I'd share it with you so you can get the same benefits. If we take a look at the B Miner website, so if you've not used B Miner before, it's um it's a really good uh, multi miner. You can use it for mining Ethereum or Zcash. I've used it in the past for mining Zcash and um, had a good performance with it back then, but I've not used it really recently. But anyway, if you go to the download section, you can download it. So the one that I'm using is this B Miner version 12.1, and I've got the Windows uh, 64. Uh, Bit version. I'm not too sure exactly what the difference is between this and the light version, what's included or what's not, so I just used um, this version here. So download that and then obviously go to your downloads folder. You'll get a zip file like that and then you just want to right click and extract it like you normally would and then you'll get a folder like this and inside that is another folder which is exactly the same. But inside there you'll get this, uh, there's lots of different batch files uh, for obviously starting various different mining coins, but you can see this, you'll have this mine underscore grin dot bat. So I've taken that and I've made a um, edited version. So I'll show you the changes that I personally um, made. So this is the fault one and it's um, designed um, as a setup for the F2 pool. And there's also some sample instructions on how to use that. If you visit this page, I'll link both links in the description. Um, you've got this kind of this configuration here that tells you how to get set up and what parts go where. Now I'm actually using the grin-pool.org, so I needed to change um, the configuration file just slightly. So my one looks a little bit like this. So where it's got set address, um, I'm not using any grin address, and what I've done is the username I've got as imine blocks, then I've got the pool address with the port on the end. And then the set scheme, that's for your algorithm that you're going to be mining to, so leave that as it is. And then where it's got password, that's really, on this particular pool, it's just a nickname for the miner. So I don't need to put an actual password in there. So that's the, the configuration that I'm using for mining with the grimpool.org. And um, that's working. Uh, one other point as well is the, um, the hash rate was reported quite accurately on the pool as well. I didn't leave it running for a great deal of time. I really just wanted to share this video with you quite quickly. Um, but the, uh, the hash rate reported on the miner is very similar to what's reported at the pool end. So that, that's pretty good. So that's the configuration that I'm using there. So if I just start the miner up again, and then I'll just talk about the, um, the clocks and everything that I'm using. So just for reference, it's a, um, it's a Gigabyte Extreme. Uh, it's the Aorus edition, and it's a GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, I'm using the latest drivers, which is uh, 417 and 35. Uh, I used a slight overclock of plus 200 megahertz on the memory, and that gives us a uh, 5,315 megahertz um, in total. The core clock has gone down very slightly, but I think it's because the card is getting a bit hot. It's quite hot in this room, so the card is getting a little bit hot when running. Um, previously, with the Grin Gold Miner, um, I did use like a plus 50 and a plus 100 overclock, um, but sometimes it would crash. So maybe just, you know, plus 25 megahertz is probably about all you can get. Maybe if it was a bit colder, it would run um, a little bit better. Um, this miner, it does give you an indication to the power usage that's being used, but I would expect between this miner and the green gold miner, the power consumption is probably uh, very much the same, I would expect. Um, the one other point I did notice is that the CPU usage with the B miner 
uh, was slightly less than with the green gold miner. So that's a plus. So if anything, you might even be saving a little bit of power. So you can see here the mine is starting up again and uh, now it's about 5.4 gig hashes um, and I think that's because I'm recording at the same time if I shut down the recorder it should go back up to around about 6. Uh, we've got all the stats on the right hand side you can see the CPU temperature all sort of normal stuff and then we've got the uh, memory usage which is 6.5 uh, gigabytes the core clock is just under 2000 and the memory clock you can also see the power consumption is throttling uh, just under 100 so with a bit of tweaking you might be able to get a bit more uh, performance or perhaps a slightly bit better efficiency but i'll do some other testing and i'll probably share those uh, details with you at a later point okay then guys so that's it for this video um well, just before i go please give this video a like it's super important that you like this video if you like this type of content and want to see more of this sort of stuff second to that if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing it'd be great to have you part of the community that we're building here uh, we're now coming up to 41,000 subscribers and it'll be great if you help me to get over that next um hurdle so that's it for this one thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video